right, everybody, Corbin here. We got ourselves a The Nun, or uh, Ultimate Valak figure from NECA, from The Nun. The Conjuring Universe, The Nun 2, or The Conjuring 2. But either way, here we go. Um, the packaging is fantastic. Nice, smooth box. And then it's got the old book look to it. But yeah, we got ourselves a Valak. Oh, dropping shit. Well, don't know what happened. The little rosary. Is that what it's called? The little cross thing? This, I couldn't tell in the box. I was just trying to figure out what was going on there. It's got a little stand. Anyways, let's pop that off. Okay, um, let's see. Didn't pick it up. It looks like, I'm assuming this is a little rosary. It's supposed to be. It's just a tiny little cross. Then we got the little orb from the movie. Was that how it's supposed to be? Nothing in it? I feel like it's supposed to have something in there. Maybe the rosary goes inside the orb? The little cross? I don't remember. It's been a minute since I've seen the Nun movie. Um, anyways, just saw the Nun 2 though a couple weeks ago. Really solid. Uh, personally, I didn't really like the original Nun movie, but I do like the character of the Nun. But I didn't really like the original movie, but The Nun 2 was really good, and I thought it had a lot of creative jump scares. To open creepy, reachy hands, and then just a little cardboard painting. That's cool that it's uh, detailed on the back, too, though. Yeah, like an actual little painting, so that's real nice. And we got ourselves a little stand. Really wish more figures came with stands. All right. And let's sort of bring this up if I can. Oh, didn't mean to knock that off her, but yeah, there's that. She looks really goofy when she take that off. Wait, what am I doing? She has another head. Okay, yeah, I was like, there should be something else going on here. Yeah, and... Yeah, there we go. Very scary, that's that I'll be using. I will say the head that it, that comes with it looks a lot, I mean, it's crazy how much it looks like the actress. All right, let's see what we got going on underneath the hood. Um, just some pale naked legs, no detail to make them wrinkly or creepy. All right. Um, A little tight joints. I might want to loosen them up. I'm not real sure what the difference is between this and the cloth figure, because I've never owned a cloth figure. But I gotta imagine like this version, this and like the ghost face cloth can't be that different from the ultimate, you know, figure wise at least. Obviously, it can come with different stuff. All right, let's try to. Good God, that was up. Just to get on. Yeah, nice and creepy. She doesn't really have many, like a really good gripping hand. So, I mean, I guess just sort of wrap it up on there. I don't really even see the nun gripping stuff either, so. The belt is a little leathery, flexible leatheriness, whatever you want to call that. I don't like how easily the, the top little head part of the nun comes off sure maybe I'll tack that up stick it up or something right behind her and then have her posed on the stand all right there she is on her stand oh nope and the stand fell off immediately and then I knocked her off trying to move her forward but yeah you guys know how bad I am with this. Yeah, that's creepy to me how much this looks like the actress that plays her. I mean, good job though, Nack. I figure that's sort of your goal. I don't know what I did with the little rosary. Oh, it's sitting down under here. Um, yeah. The cloth, I don't... 
you know, and I don't know what I was really expecting because like with cloth like this, with a figure like this, you kind of got to have cloth. But like, I don't, I don't know, just a little too much cloth going on for me. And it makes me not really like it, but it, it's still a great neck of figure. And I kind of wish I had the cloth version so that I could compare them. And I kind of wouldn't mind comparing like ghost face versus cloth to go ghost face, you know? And then also the little hood part of the nun outfit. What would you, what is a nun outfit called? Anyways, it's got a little wiriness to, you know, mold and shape it better. Probably can get it on her head and whatnot better once i'm done doing all that once i decide where she's going out on the shelves and whatnot not sure where i will put her but yeah she's got uh good stuff going on this also comes off it comes off when you take the head off or it's got a little velcro here to where you can take that off Nice and creepy, guys. Um, now, oh, oops. Now, Valak, how do you guys feel about her? How do you feel about the Nun movies? Which is your favorite Nun movie? You know, rank the three Valak appearances down below. For me, it's Nun 2, Conjuring 2, The Nun. I believe that's my ranking for Valak's appearances. Um, but yeah, let me know down below, like, where she ranks at in the, like, uh, Conjuring monsters, you know, La Llorona, Crooked Man, Annabelle, others. Like, how, how does you how do you feel about her? Um, but yeah, that's that's it for this one, guys. Um, and until next time, stay geeky.